So what's going on everyone? Today is October the 16th, 2023. We're going to talk about Palantir today after we saw the market since our last price prediction. We knew that the market was bullish, so we anticipated that price was going to go higher. And it did. And the market in Palantir actually came and hit our ultimate area TP right there on October the 11th, 11.1%. Pretty good. Let's get rid of it. Are we still bullish into the market in Palantir? Well, so far, yes. The answer is yes that the market currently is still bullish because price is still keeping in line with the trend. Now, short term, we did see some selling hit the market on Friday. Look at that last printed price bar right there in Palantir on October the 13th. Market ended down three and a quarter percent. Will the market hold $17? Or will it come all the way back down to test this trend line? What do you guys think? Here's Palantir on the um, Two day time frame. I want you all to recognize that the market is already telling us that this is where the sellers are. Okay. So now we're pretty much waiting to see where the buyers are. Sellers are hitting the market around $18.50. Will the buyers hit the market around $17.15 or will they bring it down here to that trend? We got to wait and see. Here it is on the three day chart. Eight hours and 57 minutes before this current three day price bar prints. If it closes on the low, then yeah, price may not hold $17.15. It's got to keep it real. And it currently in pre-market, the market definitely looks like it's going to close on the low end Palantir. And that would tell you that even though we saw strength on this current three-day price bar, this puts a gold bar indicator, but we saw the market close off the highs. That tells you that sellers were also there too. Over the last three days, you can see also the volume is there. The volume increased over the last three days of trading in Palantir. And that's why this current market on the three day price bar is going down now. Here it is on the five day chart. Again, the market is still bullish though. So for the most part, what we need to do is kind of chill out, relax, see how low the market is gonna go before those buyers hit. And then you can get another opportunity to potentially jump in and ride the way to the upside. Here it is on the weekly chart. You can see it on last week's price action. Look at the printed weekly price bar. Right there. Market closed off the highs of this weekly price bar with increased volume. Look at this volume down there. We haven't seen evidence of volume in Palantir since the week of August the 7th. And look at that type of price bar. So this area right here is definitely a place to where sellers are at and those buyers are not able to break those sellers out the way that is what this high volume is representing on the weekly time frame and these weakness price bars just in case you didn't know it doesn't have to do with anything about what Palantir is doing in regards to its technology its AI or you know what other products they have what other mergers and acquisitions that they're trying to do what other contracts that they're trying to get with the government it has nothing to do with that it has to do with these sellers up here around twenty dollars to seventeen dollars and eighteen cents because the volume increases every time the price hits that level every time the market runs up to that level the volume increases and price comes down so that is why palantir closed off the highs last week Okay, so now for me, I'm going to chill out. I want us to see if those buyers are going to come into the market today, right there around $17.15, or will it come down to this trend line, maybe $16.50? It is on a 330 minute chart. You guys can see the weakness, right? This is where those sellers really hit the market in Palantir. Now those buyers, they tried to hold price. That's why the market traded from left to right. All of last week for the most part. And now you can see we're breaking down because those buyers are no longer there. They ran out of money. So now the market is going to continue to go down until they find another increase, a new batch of buyers. And then those buyers will try to move the market back up. And if those sellers who have a huge bag to sell are still there, then those buyers have another job to try to keep that price from falling. 
So I'm just going to chill out right here. I'm not going to change. Um, I'm not going to drop a price prediction, excuse me, in Palantir. We're just going to see how low price is going to go because that's currently my idea. Is that price in Palantir is currently weak. I want to see how low price is going to go. Definitely today. I want to see if those buyers are going to hold $17.15. If they don't, I'm looking at $16.50 back down to $16. I would say anything lower than $16, this market's going to hit this consolidation of trade range again. Okay. Which again, it's not a negative thing. It's just trying to time, okay, when is a good time to enter and, and, and not anticipate into the market and pound too. So that's why I'm going to chill out right here, right now. So we just keep those lines on the chart for the moment and we'll see what happens. I'll come back in later and see whether or not those buyers have hit the market or not. If they don't, you can't say that you didn't know because I told you already that the market is weak in Palantir. Go ahead and give me your thoughts. Hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you maintain your profitability. And as always, trade different.